Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Brother against brother. Father against son. Houses divided. Families divided. It's the Iron Bowl. Alabama and Auburn. We've done all we can do here. Time to tee it up. Let's send it out to Brad and Kirk for the call. David and I will be with you at halftime. Williams is on the field to kick this one off, and everyone in the stadium is ready for this game to get started. He's to the 20. He's taken down at the 32. Senior class taking the home field for the final time, and no matter what you've done before, you always want to get a win in your last home game. We'll see how they do. Now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. Makes it to the 35-yard line. So they get about three on the draw. It's another carry. A yard, maybe two on the carry. His safety did just a great job of reacting to the run and getting in there to make the tackle. The intimidation factor is definitely here when you're playing in this stadium. Throws complete. He's got space to work. He's at midfield. That's a great tackle at the 46-yard line. He looked pretty cool back there. Even with the outside linebacker blitzing, he made an accurate throw, and the result is a new set of downs. Again with the run. Nice run there. Good for a game, six yards. That'll make it second and four. Really one of the very tough places to play in college football, and it's no different today. Good protection. They bring the quarterback down. I think this defensive end is doing a great job of getting after the quarterback, not only with the sack in this case, but it seems like the entire game he's done a good job of creating pressure, making this quarterback feel him, and almost giving him happy feet back there where he doesn't seem to be in rhythm and almost seems to be throwing the football, feeling the, the pressure and almost creating the nerves on the quarterback. This punt goes over the goal line, and this will be a touchback. Alabama's coaching staff, the fans, I think everybody's been waiting to see this kid play, and here he is. Well, he's a star quarterback. He seems to bring everything to the table. The crowd, I think, senses he's ready to have a big day. And when your star quarterback feels good at playing at home and he gets off to a good start, some big things can happen for this offense. They'll give it off here. He makes it out to maybe the 20-yard line. Wright's into running here for a prestigious award, Herbie, but he doesn't want to think about that right now. He's got to stay focused and keep the task at hand in front of him, and that's winning the ball game. Thank you. 
So it's second and ten. Ball on the 20-yard line. Open man, quick strike, and he can't pull it in. They come out on an empty backfield. Fires incomplete. That one sailed on him. He wanted his receiver, but I think that may have slipped out of his hands. That'll make it fourth and ten. Alabama's defense got the stop they wanted on that first drive. Now let's see if they can do it again. And just listen to this crowd, Brad. I mean, you can practically feel the energy coming down from the crowd and how it's impacting these players. This is a fun game, and I think we're going to see a lot of interesting football before it's over. He wants it all. Doesn't get there. The ball just sailed on him, and he knows it. He'll get it next time. From their own 46-yard line, it's second down. Over the middle to his tailback. Tackle around the 50-yard line. That's good for a game of four yards. That'll bring up third and six. It's arguably the loudest crowd in the nation, and they are turning it up a notch. Fires quick out to the receiver, and he can't make the grab. He'll try to change the field position and especially not get it to the end zone. It's a short kick. Every drive is important in a tie game. I look for both sides to come out with some urgency. And he's going to come up with a sack. That is a loss of four yards. That makes it second and 14. So it'll be second and 14 after the setback. Four down, four down. Five to white, five to white. Right down. And he's tackled at the 32-yard line. it out right to the running back and he shoved out of bounds at the 34. There's nothing better for a defense's mindset than to get a three and out. I mean a turnover of course is a positive play and a coach will take that any day of the week but to know you've stopped the best their offense has to offer for three straight plays that's a confidence builder. Jones fields it at the 30. And he's tackled at the 43-yard line. You talk about our meetings this week with the defensive coordinators, Kirk, and this is what they were hoping for, that they can control the line of scrimmage. Well, these players must have been listening pretty intently because that's exactly what we've seen. These defenses have come out. They've controlled things early, trying to just set the tone. It's really going to be up to both of these offenses to try to make some adjustments and try to be able to come after them in some way. And he's tackled after positive yardage. Rose and it's knocked away. So at the end of one quarter, still no score.
Welcome back. Tight game here in the second quarter as we begin play. They're one of the loudest crowds in the country, and they are on their feet. Fires out quickly to the tailback. He's tackled right around the 42-yard line. Calling a screen will sometimes slow down the pass rush. So if you're playing a team that likes to blitz a lot, this is one way to get them out of that. From the 42-yard line, second down. Makes it out to maybe the 40-yard line. This crowd can really be intimidating for an opposing team. goes downtown and he is drilled at the 10. You know they did a great job here of not just getting past the first down marker but picking up some major yards on the play. converts the extra point. A seven-play, 58-yard drive, and they add seven points to the scoreboard. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well-executed touchdown drive. He's to the 20. And down he goes at the 26-yard line. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. On the run. Runs it right. Nice pickup. They're about four yards away here on second down. Heading for the corner. And they make the stop at the 35-yard line. That's a game of three on the way. That'll make it third and one. Let's go, baby. We can score. We can score. Let's go. Let's go. He gets out to about the 44-yard line. The play was very well conceived as they were able to get a decent gain and a first down. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 44-yard line. And he's taken down around the 27-yard line. From the 27 yard line. First down. And he carries the ball for a nice game. Outside after a nice pickup. Third down. 
It's third down, and this offense is about three feet away from that first down marker. Here's the give. Runs it left for a decent game. Brad, I think offensive coordinators spend more time focusing on two areas from offense. Third down conversions and red zone offense. And right now, this offensive coordinator has to be really happy with the way this offense is executing in their third downs. That's the second time they've been able to... Touchdown, Crimson Tide! This guy seems to make things happen no matter what kind of space he has to work with. All he needs is a little crease of daylight and forget about it. Here comes the kicker to try to tie this game up. He makes the PAT. An eight-play, 73-yard drive, and that's good for a touchdown. Brad, that's one of those drives that can just tear your heart out. They can really demoralize a defense when they drive the ball down the field, and a lot of the yards came on the ground. We're even at seven in this one. Alabama kicked this one off. Gibson from the one. Tackle made at the 22-yard line. Both defenses really played well so far, Herbie. Well, up to this point, both defenses have dominated this football game. We'll see if they can hold on to that mentality the rest of the way. You always want to go in the locker room with momentum, so as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. Plenty of time in the pocket. He lets it fly. No, incomplete. The defensive coordinator did a great job with the play call there. He put his defense in alignment and in a position to be able to make a play on the football. Everything worked perfectly. They just dropped the football. Boy, the offense caught a break there. Balls it in as he's pushed out of bounds. That makes it first and ten. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 38-yard line. Got it. And he goes down quickly. These short, effective passes are going to help the quarterback's confidence. The Tigers will use their first time out of the half. bring him down. Oh, that is a big hit on the quarterback. That's one of those as an offensive lineman, when the film study starts to come around, you're going to kind of sink in your chair and just hope they don't call you out because you're going to get embarrassed on Monday on that one. From their own 40-yard line, it's third down. Really a tough spot for an offense to be in against this crowd in this stadium. There's a strike complete. He's down. Makes the catch, but just not enough for the first. Yeah, they're going to come up a little bit short here. Nice job by the defense of preventing this completion from turning into a first down. Hendricks is back to receive. He's tackled at the 26. This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. Finds his man and they take him down immediately. Push him out around the 49-yard line. That's good enough for another Alabama. First down. First and 10. Ball on the 49.
second down at about the 39 yard line. Want it all here and does. It's caught. Touchdown. Crimson Tide. <laughs> and he tacks on the extra point. Like they're ready for the kick. Gibson fields at the goal line. Tackle at the 26 yard line. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Second down and eight. Ball on their own 27. So we've played two quarters. The Crimson Tide in front, 14-7. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. Things are straight defensive out there right now. David, what do these two offenses have to do to open this game up? Well, it's it's fun to watch because obviously I'm a defensive guy and I enjoy this, but when, you're, when your defense is executed at that kind of level, the offense has to be precise. I mean, you got to throw it in tight windows. You got to be willing to take some chances that you normally wouldn't have. How about some trick plays, maybe? I mean, when you're losing the battle in the trenches, you got to find some way to kind of even it out. Maybe you get a little bit more options, some reverses, some double passes, something to loosen up this defense. Because right now, defenses are just winning out. That'll do it here in the studio at halftime. We'll try to see if Pollock can bring a little energy in the second half. Got a lot of games to watch, including yours. Brad and Kirk, ready for the second half. All right, Reese and David, welcome back, everybody. Just about set to start the second half. He's to the 20. He's taken down at the 27-yard line. Well, this offense has found the end zone on their last two drives, and they're coming out on this one trying to do much of the same. Alabama is up a score. Made at the 27. That's how we do, D. That's how we do. They don't want none. They don't want none. That makes it second and 10. From their own 27 yard line, it's second down. Pocket holds. He airs it out. Keeps his eye on it, makes the catch. He's taken down around the 17 yard line. Big pickup through the air has made it first and ten. Right, left side, and they get nice yardage on that run. That brings him second and five. away here on third down.
Throws quickly, and it's almost intercepted. Number nine was the intended receiver on the play. That makes it fourth and four. Alabama can make this a two-possession game with this field goal. He gets it up, and it is good. Williams looks ready to kick this one off. Excellent kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Alabama's continuing to play extremely tough defense. This has been impressive. It's just been impressive to watch them play with such an attitude, almost a chip on their shoulder with the energy that they're playing with. And I think it's going to require that kind of effort to be able to win this game. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. was a close one but the ball goes out of bounds the ball just kept scooting all over the place on the sideline and it finally skipped out of bounds before anybody could claim it first and ten ball on the 41 yard line He gets sacked on the play. They get to the quarterback and end that play before it even got started. This young man didn't even have a chance to make something happen. It's tough to find your receivers when the defense is in your face like that. From their own 36-yard line, second down. room to run he makes his way to about the 45 the reason why it's so crucial to be able to run effectively like this is it keeps the defense guessing they have no idea whether you're passing or running even if you need medium to long range yards little handoff makes it to the 37 that's a team Brought down around the 37 yard line. First and ten. ten. Let's go, D. Hey, check my 33. Check my ready. Round 50. Back, 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 back. And he's tackled around the 25 yard line. That's good for him. That makes, that makes it, it second, second and two. two. I'm coming for you. Ah. Mike, check 33. Come on. Come on. Check, 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 check. check. He's tackled right around the 30. There are a lot of players in the college game that can make something happen when the blocking breaks down. But when it's that bad, I don't care who you are, you're going down for a loss. And this is the ninth play of the current drive. Right around the 22 yard line. First down. Throws it in a hurry. And they make the stop at the 19 yard line. Got an opening. 
Nice play to set up first and goal. That's good for a gain of 11 yards. That makes it first and goal. to do with it. They like the fact that they have a halfback who can pick his way so well through defenses. Here's the point after to try to cut this to a three-point game. He splits the uprights with the extra point. A 12-play, 75-yard drive, and a touchdown as a result. White ready to kick. And down he goes at the 36. The Tigers have really surprised everybody in this football game. They have not been intimidated at all, which is great to see. The attitude and effort of this team has put them in a position where they got a shot to win this game here in the second half. It's going to be interesting to see how the action shakes out in this series. Alabama has a three-point lead. He fights forward to about the 36. That makes it second and ten. Second down, ten yards to go. Ball on their own 36. Hang on tight, folks. We head to the fourth quarter in what could be a shocker. 17-14, Crimson Tide. Back to the action here. Tight ball game in the fourth quarter. And a quick throw. Everything about that play was crisp. The route, the throw, the catch. That's fun to see. From their own 40-yard line. It's third down. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. Quick strike to the receiver. And he's taken down at about the 49. He is such a reliable target. You throw it anywhere near him, and this guy's going to get his hands on it and make a catch. Tackled in the open field. From the 38 yard line. First down. Alabama is up by three. Fires to his tight end. Nothing doing. Hey, that's a heads-up play there by the defender. Get those hands up and something good may just happen. Hand off, and he's met immediately. Loss of one on the play. That makes it third and 11. And here's another third down. Caught and he's hit immediately. That's good for a of two yards. Fourth down. Battle looking to knock one inside the 20 here on this punt. Touch. 
Little too much leg into that punt. They'll bring it out to the 20. Auburn still got a chance here. They might come up short, but not for lack of trying. Well, I've been impressed with this team the entire way. Now we're going to really find out what they're made out of. With the game on the line, late in the ball game, how do you go out and execute? Things aren't tied, but they might as well be. It's this drive that could really dictate the tone for the last quarter. That's a great tackle at the 23-yard line. And the halfback carries for a pickup of three. Less than three minutes in the game. And he's got all the time in the world. And he's level at the 34-yard line. Hayes is the tackle at the 34-yard line. That makes it first and ten. the middle for a nice game. Gain of seven on the play. That'll bring up second and three. Get on the ball, get on the ball, get on the ball. They'll go ground, and he makes it out to about the 44-yard line. The intimidation factor is definitely here when you're playing in this stadium. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. That's a game of seven on the gut. First down. Come on, now we got moving. Throws quick to the receiver and it falls incomplete. The ball just sailed on him and he knows it. He'll get it next time. That makes it second and ten. From the 49-yard line, it's second down. Gives it to the back. He tackles him for a loss. Just took their first time out. Third down, and they need to get it down to the 39. Under a minute left. Makes the catch and gets out of bounds. First down. This is the ninth play of this drive. And he throws it away. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. Here's the halfback on the screen, and he shoved out of bounds around the 26-yard line. So it's third down now, and they're going to need about four. This crowd can really be intimidating for an opposing team. Well, you can see the elation on the defensive coordinator's side of things, and why not? His defense just came up with one of the biggest stops of the game in a vital spot in this fourth quarter. So a big, big stop on fourth down here late in the fourth quarter. When the first down marker is that far away, 
someone's got to step up and make a play on fourth down. It just didn't happen for him here. Nine times out of ten, the defense will make a stop on that play, but, you know, based on the situation, this offense did have to go for it. The whistle hasn't sounded yet. They still have to snap the ball and make sure they don't make any mistakes. We should just see the quarterback take a knee right here, winding down the rest of this clock. The Tigers, they're going to have to call their third and final timeout. From their own 31-yard line, second down. We have less than a minute to go. He takes a knee. up the broadcast what do you have to say about how this game turned out Kirk nothing adds to the pageantry of college football more than a good rivalry this was a great game that should only add more fuel to the fire for next year's matchup and boy was it fun to watch Kirk Herbstreit. This is Brad Nessler saying thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.